Well, hey there, everybody. It's a Bullet Brawl Wednesday coming at you not live from a pre recorded version because I got to go out of my way to make sure that these things happen <clears throat> even when I'm traveling. So by the time you're watching this, if you're watching this, you already know I'm traveling. Not time traveling, despite the rumors. Although I think I look younger with every day. Right? No? Okay. Well, it looks like the best chess puzzles isn't playing the best chess moves now, is he? But um bum Well, that's a snap dizzle. We'll rematch you. Thanks for making the start of this bullet brawl. Um really anticlimactic. But okay, maybe he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He was just he was off feeding the cat. Right, you gotta feed the cat. Cat gets hungry. Especially if you have the Bane cat. Right? I was wondering where you went. I was... What happened to my cereal? I peed in it. You guys ever seen that video? It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Well, I... Um, I played... Um, D5 immediately instead of what probably should be played there. A uh, number of different moves, like knight takes d4 and bishop b6. I had kind of, I was kind of just playing too fast, but he should play g5 instead of what he did, although now he's just completely lost. Losing the bishop on e3 is kind of a catalyst to the whole position. He knows it. I know it. He resigns. All right, here we go. Good start, right? Get get somebody to, to have a no-show. Makes me feel better about going out of my way to, to get this bullet brawl done before the travels commence to make sure you guys don't miss a week, right? God forbid you don't have something to complain about as far as free content goes. Um, <clears throat> but really, I, I am just pretty tired of going up the down staircase and doing these live shows. They get kind of exhausting, so. So this should be fun. Uh, after f5 takes takes, I am supposed to play bishop to g5. Just remembered that and forgot it. But, uh, okay. Even with that mistake, I'm going to see if I can make up for it. We'll play bishop g5 um, right away. Now bishop takes h7, does nothing, queen check, but it is bullet. So I'm thinking that we'll still have a pretty a pretty good chance at uh, at getting something decent here in this game. Play h4. Not because I actually intend to do anything with my rook, but because I'm just trying to create the space for the queen. Yeah, I think he probably should have... Should have just uh, played knight takes d4 there. Well, he goes for this whole idea because it looks really good. But is it really good? <laughs> he loses the bishop with check. Although rook f8 wasn't bad for him there. He didn't even see it. Rook f8 would have been, would have been totally fine. So this time I'm not going to rinse and repeat the bad, the bad move order I played. I'm going to improve upon it. And with that, I mean not play d5. I'm going to play bishop e6 first, which you can play if g4 is played. And now, of course, we can transpose. This move order is a good one for black because really they should be playing king to b1. Now we have a lot of threats coming on the, uh, the, the old queen side here. If takes, queen check, knight b1, bishop a2, I think is winning on the spot. Winning a piece on the spot, which means he's going to move the knight and take advantage of the fact that the pawn is pinned to the queen. Um... After which there, sh there should be a couple options. If he plays knight d5, I can just take with the bishop and then take with the queen and probably still have pretty good chances as far as my attack goes. Um, if he plays the knight anywhere else, there would have been other things too, but let let's focus on the present. It is bullet after all. Okay, so now, now that he takes on b4 and commits to that, do I have some sort of tactic? Should I just go grab the pawn and try to pick apart his position? Or should I play queen a2 even? Queen a2 also looks pretty fun. It threatens queen a1 checkmate. That's always a plus, threatening checkmate. So, uh, okay, he plays he plays c3, which, which sort of makes sense. Sort of. Sort of makes sense. How much sense does it make remains to be seen. Uh, I probably could have played a3 anyway, but I didn't. Uh, we'll play a3 now. We're not really worried about this exchange. Uh, we'll take and then pre-move here. 
That's a piece. Wow, this guy's falling apart. I feel like this is like the anti-Danny Bullet Brawl. You know, where I'm normally down 0-4. Here I'm up 4-0. I mean, am I going to be able to go with the hat trick here and finish a Bullet Brawl undefeated? I don't even know. But I'm having fun. And that's all that matters, said my t-ball coach. That's all that matters, Danny, because you're not very good at sports. All that matters is that you're having fun. That's what they always said. Danny, it doesn't matter that you're terrible because you're having fun. You know? All right, well, I really like the dark squares. I like holding on to them. <clears throat> He's going to let me undouble the pawns? I will do so with gusto. I will do so with gusto. Open up the uh, the diagonal. Because why not? We'll try to trade off that light square bishop. He can't really take it anyway because I'll play rook to g1 and skewer his bishop to the pawn. So I'm just going to trade off that powerful bishop. Maybe there was something better for me, but I didn't, I didn't see it in the short amount of time. Hmm. Although now I would really like to get something with like the knight coming into c5 or a5. It feels good, doesn't it? feels real good. I don't know that it is that good, though. Overrated, I guess. Okay, well now I'll go after that pawn. Now I will indeed go after that pawn. Okay, well I have this trick. We'll see, he misses it. He missed it. Taking advantage of the pin. Well, I'm just, I'm just riding this guy right now. Who knows, maybe we could ride this guy to 2600, right? That would be fun. <laughs> This guy is just on tilt, full tilt. He came in on tilt, so it's not even really my fault right now. But he's pretty frustrated. We'll keep playing. We're going to do this dragon again, and the point of bishop e6, once again, is that if they take early, um, which he did, and again, the casting long allows me to take and play queen a5, and the point is normally there's a knight d5 tactic in these positions because I can't trade on uh, d2 with check if the king's on b1. But in the move order that he's playing, there is no knight to d5 tactic and so this line of just sort of being aggressive and, and opening up opening up tactics do I have something good I want something good but it doesn't exist huh it doesn't seem to exist not in this moment anyway so we're gonna have to go for this which is not ideal it's the first game we've had where I really don't feel so great about my chances. We'll see how he wants to tackle this. See how he wants to tackle the threat of checkmate on b2. If he wants to trade, it's okay, because I think I'm going to get my knight into f4. And I know, I know he's better. He's got a lot of past pawns, um, to say the least, but... It's not over for me. That's the point. It is not Red Rover. We'll give this check. See if he wants to give up the exchange. He does. All right. And it's making sense. Whoa, he just resigned again? He's better in this position, and he's up a ton on time. He's on, he's on tilt right now. Total, total tilt. And he resigned, oh, because I had rook takes b5 and the pawn was pinned, so he resigned before he saw my move. So he just thought he was just blundering the rook, which he was, and I just missed it. Wow. I, uh, You know, sometimes you're just, you get a little lucky. Maybe I'm owed, you know, in the, in, the, in the karma of bullet brawls. Maybe it's just a little bit of uh, good fortune. I'm sure it's somebody's birthday today, so this is like a birthday present for someone. Attacking c6, maybe g6, but mainly c6. Hmm, interesting. I'll go ahead and go for this. Allowing the check, getting c3, because now I am once again threatening knight takes c6. If he wants to give it to me, I shall take it. He doesn't want to give it to me, but I'm going to take c5. And get b4, sure. I'd love to play f3. 
I would really love to play f3, but he's got queen h4 check. So, had to be a little careful there. Ooh, what's that? Is that not a piece? Oh, it was a queen. I blundered my queen, just like that. So I just blundered away the game. That's what just happened. That is what just happened. My goal is going to be to just keep things relatively closed, if possible. Keep things relatively closed. Kick that rook back. Uh, maybe go get the pawn. Try to go push. Try to go push the uh, the a pawn and go get a queen. Pre moving a little bit. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! This guy. Oh my gosh. He's angry. Could you feel him hit the rematch button right there? He was angry. He's down 7-0. Where I come from, that's a skunk, baby girl. That's a skunk. And he was just completely winning, and he flagged before Mayton won, which... I don't know. That didn't seem very fair for him. I'm just being honest. Didn't seem fair for him. I didn't say I felt guilty, I just said it didn't seem fair for him. If I was him, I'd be a tad frustrated as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a horrible position for me. I feel like I'm just like, it's like I, whatever, whatever small amount of conscious I still have in my life, I just like feel so bad right now after that, after what just happened that I'm, I'm obviously playing terrible chess moves. Like a part of me knows I don't deserve to win yet another one. Um, yeah. Uh, certainly does not seem very good for me, does it? Does not seem very good for me now, does it? Oh, he's got mating too. Check and check his mate. He doesn't even see it. I mean, what am I supposed to do if he's going to miss mate in two? Seriously, is that a me problem? I don't know. Not really. I don't think it can really be considered a me problem. This is just ridiculous. I mean, I just, I feel terrible. That's eight wins in a row. This is one of the most epic, I have to play, I have to play until I either reach 2600 or lose a game at this point. I mean, this has turned into one of the best times I've ever had on a chessboard, which is saying something. I was raised by Russians. I've had some good times on chessboards, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, this time I'm not going to forget the theory. That would be nice. Play bishop g5. Like a good boy. He's just going to sack the exchange, which is fine with me. This line is uh, fine by me. We'll let him take there. If that's what he wants, we will let him have it. Going for F7 right now. Ooh, he stops it. Sly dog. I guess I'll go grab that pawn. Might as well grab another one, right? What's the threat? What's the threat? I don't even see a threat. I don't see a threat. So I'm not scared. Um, 
guess we'll attack that knight. I could have also taken on e6. Oh my gosh! Finally, I'm gonna lose. Okay, that's ridiculous. That was just, I literally just put under my queen in one move. I told you chess karma was coming around where I was just clearly feeling so terrible about what was commencing on the chessboard. All right, he won. Well, well, we're not going to let him walk away a winner, are we? <laughs> no. Coming to the Bullet Brawl is like playing the house. They never lock you, let you walk away a winner. All right? Plus, I'm playing with house money right now. I've won, like, what, 12 in a row? Eight, actually. But okay, you get it. You get it, right? Not going to let him walk. I'm going to play a good chess game this time. That'll be the first thing. First thing I'm going to... Do differently compared to last game. I'm going to play decent chess moves. Novelty concept, I know. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun town. I'm just going to rock his world right now. I don't even... Do you think I... Do I look like a guy who cares about a rook on a8? Do I look like someone who cares about that rook? If you said yes, then clearly you don't know me. Or, or how to judge how someone actually looks. Because I do not care about that rook. I'm going to checkmate him. Uh, queen trade? No. Queen trade? No. Boom. He didn't see it, but I did. I saw it coming. All right, what? Whatever. Like, really? Does that even save you? It's, not, it's hardly even fair. He got a flucky on that one. You know what a flucky is, right? Everybody does. He got a flucky on that one. Which is another way of saying he got off lucky. In case you're wondering. That's what that means. Hmm. Gotta free my back rank before I can shake and bake. Boom. That's how you win on time, everybody. That's how the game is played. All right, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy now. Let's show him, let's show him what a real chess game is about. It's not about blundering away all your pieces, contrary to what you see me do most of the time. Contrary to what you may have come to believe about chess from watching these bullet brawls. Chess is not actually about blundering your pieces. It's about bringing the troops home. Here we go. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, yeah. Loving it. Loving it. Loving all of it. Uh, yeah, fine. You can take it. You can take it. That's okay. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I've never played so bad and won so many games in my life. But right now it feels like my luck is turning around.
Uh oh. He has mate. What's he doing? I don't know what he was doing. That was strange, and I just <sighs> gave that game away. That was frustrating. All right, he's one two. It's nine to two. All right, let's pull this thing together. It's 10 to 2. I want to win every game from here on out. When I lose another one, the bullet brawl's over. So now you're all officially rooting for me. Yeah, how does that feel? How does that feel when I flip the script on you? As you complain, now I'm like, if I lose, it's over. Yeah. That's right. I am a sore loser. I was born a sore loser. Now, why am I having trouble with that? Why am I even allowing that? I don't know what I'm doing with that. That was stupid of me. That was stupid of me, actually. I played that instead of knight of three, by the way, to guard these uh, to guard these squares, the e four and g four squares, because I kind of want to get this going and not not let his knight have any real access points. He goes for that, which I guess I kind of have to honor. I wanted to play queen d six, but I kind of messed that chance up, honestly. Kind of mess that chance up. Darn it. Too many pawns, not enough time. For some reason, I'm mouse slipping right now. Don't understand what I'm doing to myself. Yep. Yep. It's 11 to 2. No more losses for this kitten. No more losses for this little kitten, this lonely kitten. gives me the bishop pair and that I shall capture no suit for his knight coming to b5 not letting that happen trying to go to sack on h3 if he lets me oh he let me I'm doing it I am doing it right now. I don't know that it's any good, but I'm doing it. Hmm. 
trying to go for an attack in case you haven't noticed an attack that is just simply not working out honestly so that stinks Ugh, how am I not winning right now? I don't even know. It feels like I should be, though, right? Well, this one's not going to work out. Almost. Almost. I think we're going to have to call it a day here at some point. I mean, this is just going to go on forever. This is this is a bullet. This is more of a bullet bashing than a bullet brawl. All right, I'll keep beating him. I'll keep beating him. What the heck? I can hear everybody saying, no, keep playing. All right, fine. He doesn't seem to... To, to like any any good moves in this line, so I'm going to keep playing it until he decides to change his mind about his preference of good moves over terrible moves. If you know what I mean. And this is all fine and dandy for me. All fine and dandy. That's actually kind of what I wanted. That's also kind of what I wanted. We want to uh, start to go to work on those weak pawns. That's the whole point here. E6 and G5. We're going to kind of start to play a little tickle with those guys, put a little pressure on them. Okay, fine. He wants H5. I don't even, I don't even care at this point. Ooh, but I will take H4. I will take my chance to play h4. Uh, yeah, we'll go for this. Go attack that guy. Attack that knight, see what he wants to do with it. Um, hmm. Kind of wish I had something better there. But I didn't. Yeah, this is kind of crazy town now. He managed to make it a little bit crazy town. Trying to offer a little rook trade. See if we can't get something out of that. Ooh. Ooh, I thought I had a check winning on the spot, but I didn't. Oh, I was actually hanging my rook, but it didn't matter. Yep. The battle continues. He's playing this weird C3 stuff. He obviously didn't like what he was getting in the dragon. Can't say I disagree with him. So we'll play this weird kind of Alapin Sicilian with him. Um, the point is I have the structure headed toward the king's side. That's kind of the goal. Oh, sorry, the queen's side. Duh. Um, and this line is kind of favorable for me. I'll play the more positional way this time. Kind of keeping the knight. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it, I guess, and we'll play b6. Just keeping the knight for one more move. I'm going to play bishop a6 and knight d7 to c5, and, and this is what I'm going to do. And uh, see how that goes. <laughs> We will see how this one goes. Okay, he wants to take on d6, but is he really threatening that? I don't even know that he is. We'll do it anyway. 
I mean, we'll, we'll take and pretend that we're worried about it. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's getting counterplay here. It's a little bit worrisome. But I sort of have an idea to use the, uh, use the king side to flip things around on him. In blitz, make his life a little difficult, right? See if I can't try to poke that knight out of there and get bishop e3 check. Ooh, wait a second. Am I not just taking there? If I go there with check, he moves. Oh, I have to take here. Wow, that was a little... That was a little obnoxious by him. It's a nice move, actually. A very nice move. I'll take here for kicks and gigs. Take here, I guess. I'm just losing. That was very, very well played by him. Hmm, frustrating. That was that was a definitely a winning game. What happened there? Hmm. Queen to be five felt really good, but this move in here. I thought I had some sort of form of checks, huh? But I didn't. So alright, let's keep playing this French. Also something that has relatively worked out well for us today. It's kind of fun to see a long battle with somebody, right? We'll play the same line. This is all theory. That is not theory. But I'll play I'll play the move that he suggests I should. Instead of taking the exchange. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda give in to his whims here. Play some weird moves. Yeah, I thought so. I'm going to take it against my better judgment. Let him take. Still, I'm aware it's uh, not so good for me. Ooh, he takes with the rook. I was not planning on that, honestly. Yeah. This has become tough. Become a tough, tough position here. Oh, that was just a blunder of the rook. Accident. Accidents happen. You just don't ever like it when they do. Ugh, what am I doing right now? I feel like I'm just giving away this game. I don't know what's going on with him. He must have some sort of weird lag going on. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I should keep playing this guy now. That's horrible. I mean, I I, I feel terrible about that. He's got a horrible lag going. He lost that game purely on time. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, that was fun. A little bit more of an epic bullet brawl than I planned for a pre-recorded session. A one man, one desire, one adventure, seven cheeses, talking about Papa Murphy's Pizzeria. And uh, I love all of you, despite your best intentions to make me not. Yeah, why don't you let that sink in for a minute. It's like unconditional love that a child has to have for his parent. By the way, I didn't say parent has to have her child. Child has to unconditionally love the parent, because parents, honestly, at a certain point, you're just like, my gosh, right? You get it.